Okay. KOR to Sports here with Mikey Garcia. Fighting Jazandro, teaching you, man. He's a murderous power puncher, lightweight champion. Why take this fight so quickly on, after your comeback? Exactly for that reason, because everybody thinks it's you know too much too soon. You know, right after my comeback, you know, too strong, you know, dangerous. But that's exactly what I need. I need I need those challenges to prove every, to everybody you know what I'm about. If I take easier fights, wait for a vacant title, you know, that's not what I'm about. That's that's not what the fans want to see. Then I get criticized for stuff like that. I don't want that. I'm here to take over. I'm here to show everybody what they've been missing. And, you know, I, I, like I tell everybody, you know, the best of my career is yet to come. This is the best moment. I'm in the prime. I'm hungrier than ever. And you're going to see it. He's been very vocal. When I spoke to him, he told me that if you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, you're gonna, he's going to knock you out. He's been very vocal about that's how he's going to win the fight. He's going to take you out. But you were just speaking earlier about how a greater puncher you are, how you get the knockouts because of the combination of styles with the fighters that you fight. What's your take on how his prediction and... and and how your styles are going to match that's, together. That's great. He, uh, I'm sure he's very motivated. I'm sure he believes that, and that's what we want him. I don't want him to go out there and take a knee with the first punch he takes. I want him to fight. I want him to, you know, give the fight fans, you know, a fight to remember. I'm there to do the same thing. You know, he is undefeated world champion. I can expect him to be at his best right now, more motivated than any other fight. He knows what's at stake. He knows where this fight could take him, and a victory over me would take him to stardom, so, you know? So... I want him to be there so he can push me and, 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 and in a way almost motivate me to come up even more, bring that level. Um, no one has really seen what, everything that I can do and uh, I need someone like him to push me so that I can actually you know, display all of, of, of Mikey Garcia. Is that exciting for you, kind of being in camp, knowing you're going to fight a fighter with that type of style? You know, you don't have to look for him. He's not going to be running around. He's going to be right there, and, and you guys can, can throw blows. Well, every fighter has a style. Every fighter has plan A, B, C, or whatever. Um, if he wants to come, you know, putting pressure, I'll be ready for that. If I need to put pressure on him because he decides, you know, I'm going to switch it up and give him something different, I'm ready for that also. Um, but I know it's going to be a great fight. I know he is super motivated. I can only imagine, you know, he, his plans for, for his career after this fight. Um, and that, that's going to be great because it's only going to mean, that only means it's going to be a great fight, a much even better fight. Speak on your free agent, um, your under ring star pro promotions for this fight. Speak on kind of going forward, winning this fight, where that kind of puts you in the free agent market. Well, we were able to uh, secure some fights. Um, we're building up relationships, several people, uh, Richard Schaefer, Ring Star, Al Heyman, Lou DiBella, um, Steven Espinosa at Showtime. They've all been great, showing me a lot of, a lot of love and a lot of uh, you know, belief and faith in me without any commitments, um, no signatures. Right. <laughs> so, you know, I, I take that, I appreciate that very much. Um, I think we're going to be ready to uh, have a discussion about formulating something, a contract, a structure, a business, something that works for, for everybody. But uh, up until now, it's been great. Um, you know, you don't get these opportunities often. Fighters don't have the, the, the opportunity or the chance to be at this stage right now and be unattached with any commitment like that. So we do have a relationship with everybody right now, but nothing said in stone, nothing ran. I think after this fight, that's what we're going to do. And last question for me. When you go to bed at night and you visualize the victory against this guy, how does it come? Knockout? Do you see like left hook to the body, right hand? What, 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 what is it that, that finishes the fight for you? How, how does this fight finish? Uh, you know, I visualized the fight many, many times. I replay it different ways just to have a, a good understanding of any possible outcome. Different plans, yeah. But I always win. You know, either, either by knockout or decision or stoppage or whatever, body shot, it doesn't matter. I'm always the winner. Hands raised at the end. Always at the end. Thank you so much, Mike. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you.